What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. We're really getting in the vlog rhythm this week. Um, I currently just applied a new tan. I'm still in my robe. I just put on some makeup and I'm on only my first water bottle of the day. Mm. I've only been able to like drink one of these per day and I normally drink two, which ends up being about a gallon per day and I've just not been on my water game. So I'm really trying to get back on that and in the grind. Um, I'm working on organizing the room, hanging out clothes, and I got in a huge order from Forever 21 that I placed probably last week and I just steamed everything. So I wanted to show you guys what I got, do a little try on haul. You know, the OGs know that Forever 21 was like my jam. I I've shopped there since high school. It's like one of my favorite places to shop. I feel like they're like back and better than ever. Like it's just like a tighter selection. It's so good and different pieces than you can find on other online websites. I don't know. If you haven't checked out their site in a while, go back and it's really, really good. I found really good stuff, like a lot of really designer looking pieces. So I'm gonna do a try on haul and show you guys what I got. All right. First look, I'm trying to get on a wall, by the way, where you guys can see the full outfit. Oh, it's still, there's actually a harder angle to get than you think. Okay, there we go. All right, so these jeans, her one, so cute. They are that asymmetric um, waistline, which is really popular. And I've never seen on their website, but so good. And they're also that nice kind of straight, loose leg. But what I like about these ones specifically is that they're kind of loose down here um, and a little bit in the thigh, but still kind of fit it. Sometimes the really baggy styles can just be baggy and you feel like you have to wear heels with them in order for them to look good. Uh, so these fit so nice. I'm wearing my normal size, which is a 25. And they also have this really cute rip at the bottom, which I love. I just haven't really seen those. Um, and then this little top uh, combo, it's actually attached together. It's so cute, it's that perfect kind of oatmeal color. And I just have on some beige boots. I feel like this is a really cute um, casual look that you, know, you could wear to dinner or something. It's just, I love it. This sort of like cardigan top style is really in. Obviously this season, it's been in for a while, but it's the first one. I'm gonna keep these jeans on um, because I have a few just like more tops that I would honestly just wear with jeans. Um, but the next top is really cute. It's definitely like a designer vibe and it kind of wraps around like this, but I like that it's high neck. So you have, you know, the coolness of here, but then it's high neck and it's so good. Um, this is also really cute with like dress pants or skirts, whatever, but it's a really cool, cute top. Really good for like going out or like dinner, easy dinner looks. Um, and it's kind of more of like a dress material, like a, it's not soft. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's killer. This top I love, it's so me. It's like this knitted white, um, it's just like a muscle tank, but you know, it's kind of the same cut. But I love this for spring and summer. So cute. Um, it's not like overly cropped, so you could like tuck it up if you wanted to. If you want it more cropped, you could leave it, you know, undone like this. But with jeans again, so cute. Dress pants. I just love these knits right now. They're really big and I love them every spring and summer. I'm like such a knit girl. It's always been something that's been like a staple in my wardrobe, um, but I love this guy. I think it comes in other colors too. And then last top before I move on to like pants and sets and stuff. And I have a few more tops that I'll show is this um, knit polo and it's camel and cream color. So pretty. And it is like, I'm pretty like, it's kind of a slightly cropped length, but it doesn't show your tummy or anything. I think it's super cute cropped. Obviously I know cropped's not for everybody, but I like it that style. So um, also looks cute like this. You just tuck it up into your bra, but the colors are like my dream. I love cream and beige. So this is gorgeous. And 70s, I feel like it's coming back in, you know? Okay. Next outfit I am obsessed with, and this is for sure right off like the runway in my opinion. Looks like so many designer items. Um, 
So the bralette is actually a knit bralette. It comes in their colors in like this beautiful beige color, but I already have one that looks kind of like it. So I got the black, which is so good for layering under like blazers and stuff like that. And then this is a pinstripe um, cropped blazer and skirt set. So this is actually a skirt. I'm wearing a size small and it's shorts in the back, which is so legit. And then this cropped blazer with the ties. I bought a medium because I wanted it a little bit bigger so it could look cool. I love it with boots. Um, and this is just like very fashion forward. It's really cool. You could also rewear this blazer a ton with like, you know, jeans and other things. So I love this set. So unique and really cool. Now, every once in a while, I find a killer pair of dress pants from Forever 21. These included, I saw them on the website and I was just like, I feel like these are going to be really nice. They're like a pistachio color and they have a pleat down the center and a slit actually in the back, which is really cute. Uh, what size did I get? Size small. And I kind of carry my weight through my hips and tush. So on my figure, it pulls a little here. Maybe I could have done a medium in these actually based on my body shape. But if you are a little bit less hippy, um, then your true to size would probably be fine. I also, this is another knit bralette from them. I also got it in white and it's absolutely beautiful. Looks designer, it's so pretty. And again, a really good layering piece. Like I don't know if I would wear it just like this unless I was like on a beach vacation, but you could easily just like kind of do a drape over situation with like a jacket like this or I would actually do like a silk open blouse or something. I don't have one with me right now, but I think this is really cool. Um, so yeah, I love this and the pants are amazing. I think they come in other colors as well, like springy colors. Next little set is this washed um, gray bandeau and sweat bottom set. I love this like washed burnout color right now um, in anything. I just feel like it looks Kind of vintage it's really cool these are so comfortable the perfect looseness they are amazing i want to go buy this set in every color that they have because i love it um and yeah just really cute i think i got a medium no a small these are small and they kind of run a little bit loose so if you like a really fitted sweat then yeah but i love this you guys know i'm a sweat junkie already we don't have to talk about it this dress i absolutely have no words for it is incredible um i just feel like forever has those gems this is one of them it is a knit dress it's a v-neck i don't know if you can see the material you can see it's like ribbed it's very flattering like i would not think it would be but that it just looks like designer literally dressed straight off the runway that i actually like have saved on my pinterest it is incredible. Um, I'm not wearing Spanx under this, but I probably would, even though it's pretty flattering as is. And it's that gorgeous nude color that is like a little peachy. It's like amazing. So if you have a darker skin tone, this would be fire on you. Um, yeah, it just, it looks really good. So I love this. I would snatch it now. I think it comes in white too, and I'll probably order it in that color. So I'm oddly also into unitards right now which are definitely a trend this one is just like a cotton jersey material so i'm looking in the mirror uh chocolate brown of course which is so pretty but i feel like it's like a really nice kind of layering piece for spring where you don't have to wear a crop top so really cute with like hoodies over it um you could do blazers and like tall boots but kind of just acts as like biker shorts but you're just all one underneath, which is really cool. So it's a fun styling piece. They have a lot of basic ones, but I love the chocolate, of course. It's amazing. So see, for example, I just like rolled up the shorts here and put this over it, and it kind of acts as a cami. So kind of an example of how you could use it, but this satin set, I'm a sucker for anything satin, and this is like a copper chocolate. It is like as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's the prettiest color ever. Um, it's gorgeous. It's stunning i mean you could wear it just like with boots or sneakers um it's obviously be so cute with heels you could you know tie up the shirt tuck it in it's actually like a button up i'm not gonna mess with the buttons right now but you can wear it more as like a blouse you can button up up all the way it's just so luxe and beautiful strappy sandal oh more pinstripe except these are beige and these pants fit 
perfectly true to size. They are stunning. Um, nice and high-waisted. They have a slit at the bottom, which are so cool. I just have like beige booties on, and then this is that bralette in white. But I feel like this would be really cute with um, this white top. Just like for a more polished look. Um, yeah, maybe a black booty too, but I just love the pants. They're super snatched. This looks so pretty. And yeah, if you don't show any skin, you can actually probably wear this like to the office. Almost done. These shorts are next. These are beautiful. I thought, I don't like short, short booty shorts. They don't work for me. They're not flattering. So I saw these just like beige pleated shorts and I was like, oh, these will be a really cute alternative to like a denim short for spring. Um, I think they come in a few colors. They're so pretty. They look like a designer pair snatched at the waist. They're gorgeous. And then this wrap top, which is like an olive green in my mind, still pretty neutral and it wraps around the back. You could tie it any way you want, but it's got these long strings. That's very in right now and it's a polo style. So you could probably um, bun it up all the way, but really cute, so cute with denim too. Last but not least is probably my dream outfit. And it is this knit bodysuit. I have a strapless bra on with it and it is stunning. Um, just with jeans and boots. This is such a me outfit, a little knit. It's like, you know, a little sexy, but cool, very comfortable. So that's it for Forever 21 haul today. So many good pieces, you guys. Like I'm saying, they're back in action. Um, it used to be my go-to site that I would check every morning and I just like fell off the wagon. So I'm gonna get back into it because like I literally love everything that I got. It's so neutral, so me. It's stunning. So I'll link everything below with all the sizes and everything. And yeah, let's get on with the rest of the vlog. Just like the old days. Does this look like our old breakfast? No, it kind of does, huh? Pantry. All right, just woke up. It is so early. Welcome to a day in our life. We have the most adulting of all adulting days today. It's going to be so busy. And today is why we haven't been vlogging as much until now. We're trying we're trying to get back into it. But you'll just see all these little things that we're doing all the time. Taking care of the house and stuff. And just been like off our routine. I just made some coffee. Um, cinnamon hazelnut. And got this at Publix. And it is so good. That is a small company. It's delicious. I mean, delish. We're recording a podcast this morning with Kenzie Elizabeth. It is our first podcast we've ever been on. It starts at about an hour. We're recording at 8 30 because we both had really busy schedules, so that was like the only time we could do it. So I'm gonna um, go brush my teeth. Coffee is brewing. Oh my god, I'm so tired to not sleep off. Some water. Open eyes, stack to restock and kick to camo. Both our days. Right turn is different pink sky. I hope you drew one now to bang. I'm gonna buy me a black cat to save you some time. I'm gonna buy me a black cat to save you some time. Okay. So we've got our sweatsuit on and our hoops. And some dry shampoo that's absorbing. I need some oil on my face. I need my, I got a hydrofacial last week and um, they did like a little, kind of like an acid on my face. So it dried out a little bit and she told me it would dry it out, but I'm getting it mostly around my mouth. Um, I just want a little bit of extra something. Gives you an extra glow too. I use the Core Organics. I've used it 
forever. It's the only oil that doesn't freak me out. It's so good. All right. Coffee, please. I need coffee ASAP. Let's do it. We just finished the podcast recording and the water people are about to be here. I don't know if I told you guys. So um, we are getting our water tested to see, like test the pH levels and all that stuff. Um, this is not something we've ever done, but honestly, I've drank in like tap water my entire life um, and I've never had an issue and I've always like been fine with it. But for some reason, the tap water here um that like i put in my water bottle it is such a strong flavor of like minerals and stuff that i could barely like drink it and i'm not even that picky with water but it's like very strong so i was like i'm gonna call a water company and have them come and like install a purifier and we can get like a, a little purified water spout and then um might as well just test our water levels and everything to make sure that we've got good water so um, it's not something I've ever done. I literally just looked up a water company and they're about to be here to test our water and maybe install systems. So we'll see. Um, here's the name. It's Pelican, Pent Air Pelican Water. Um, so I'll let you guys know how they are. I didn't have any reviews or anything. I just literally looked them up. So stay tuned. All right, our couch just got here. The new one, and we're moving this guy downstairs. We're both really out of breath. Hey, um, do you want to put a rug down there first? Like the one that we took upstairs? No. You can keep that one for the upstairs. I mean, it would look nice, but um, we could do it Oh, it actually looks so good. It looks super comfy. Good setup. We've got the old couch down here for the media room, which is actually perfect. Um, and our old coffee table, it's just a much bigger space. And our new living room upstairs is just smaller, so it hasn't really worked. And we love it down here, it's perfect. Media room, chill room, couch, nice and big. And it looks great. So here's the media screen. We played around with it a lot and we think this is the best At least for now. setup for now. Yeah, I guess it bothers us that it sticks out a little bit, but we whatever. Tried often, so we've tried we've literally, tried them we've tried them all. We've tried them all. Yeah, but anyways, okay, let's go look at the new couch. And... Yeah. Are you sure we don't have a rug down here? Yeah, we'll get one eventually. But it has carpeted floors. Yeah, I know. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of rearranging eventually, but... Yeah. 
gosh. Actually, this is a bad. When you start thinking of coffee, do you? No. I want to find something in this color. I know, me too. So we did talk about <laughs> Just a mess. That looks much better than I would think. And I think, well, that bench can't stay there because this needs to go back a little bit, but for now. Okay, so obviously the only thing staying here currently is this couch and nothing else is staying here. So we're still not sure if we're gonna do the couch facing forward or like more like the side piece. Or where he is sitting. Yeah. But the couch will either be here or here. Mm-hmm. With for sure two chairs either like on the opposite sides. Yep. And then either two more chairs or a unique like Second couch. Right. It's like a vintage. We're going vintage for the other pieces. This is new and we like want to mix them. Um, so we put the chairs there just as placeholders so we could see what chairs look like, even though those do not go. They actually like the gray just ruins the like whole them. aesthetic. Um, so we're gonna we have to find the right pieces. We're hope, hoping maybe at Round Top we'll find them or vintage online, um, vintage stores. So we're just gonna take our time. We don't wanna rush it, but this is perfect. And then I've got all of my pillowcases that I've been collecting, and these are gonna go on there. I'm just waiting for inserts, but it's gonna look really good. I'm gonna like layer different materials. So let's go. 
gonna look really nice. Lots of different pillow textures. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. This one probably go in our room. Doesn't really go. I'm thinking maybe like this. Really soft, muted colors. That looks really nice. Like a big beige one in the back and then two. Yeah, they'll look really nice. I'm thinking like what I wonder about this rug is that like I look at these colors and I'm like, oh, I love these tones, right? And then maybe it's because this is so cool. Like I really like warm colors. I think I'm drawn to warm. That's why I don't like gray or it has to have like a warm undertone and this is just super cool toned. Because I look at this and I'm like, oh, how pretty. But it might be fine. I don't know. It's interesting because like I so badly want to make this rug work. Same. But like I don't know if it's going to happen. That's kind of how I think. But it also is kind of cool that it's not like perfectly matchy because that's when it starts to look like so perfect, you know? It's kind of nice, but he said we could switch it out if it starts to bother us. We're, we're, we're wanting pops of color. Like, yeah. It could be so like bland and like pleasing to the eye. Like that's not what decor has to be. No. It doesn't have to be like our last house where everything is just like big, Like wide, neutral. neutral and, like, it's good to have pops of color. I think what would work for this rug is if it was more of a blue and then like almost like a saffron like mm -hmm. red versus like pink. It well, would be I, warmer. I don't mind like these tones in here. I don't either. I love all of this. I think like, the blue is that what's looks perfect. I actually disagree. I think the blue is what's throwing you off. I think it's like the darker blue. It's I, the darker blue. I, I don't blue. think you mind the light blues. I don't. Like this in here. Like honestly, this whole if the whole rug this was like this, I palette. think you'd be happy. Same, same. It's definitely the dark blue, but I don't know. Maybe once we get the pillows up, it won't bother me. I think it's just such a deviation. I always go for warm colors, but I have seen. I think if he just has something that's more, yeah, uh, warm, it will work. Kind of like the red in the carpet on our rug, mm -hmm. like that. But I'd rather just like, why don't we just pop by and we can see if he has anything. No, totally. And, then and I don't want to give up on the shit. Me neither. I want to get all of our furniture. We got to get all our pillows and furniture, but I think it'll be easier if it's like a warmer tone. I'm like, oh, it's kind of cool. No, it's super like, cool. It's just it hard. It would be different too. Like what if because this wood is so light, it's making this look so dark? No, definitely. It'd be different with a darker coffee table. I know. I couldn't agree more. Okay. So next up is a little the lunch time oh. and I'm gonna steam some broccoli real quick and we're gonna combine it with some leftovers so I'm literally just gonna put this in a bowl with water and I'll show you how I'm putting it all together I just heated up our little pasta and salmon leftovers yum and then I'm going to add the steamed broccoli in here Beef it up with vegetables, hot, ow. And I'll mix it all together. That's literally what we're gonna have for lunch. It's gonna be so good. This morning, I don't know where we are in this vlog. I just showered a second ago. I'm like so tired. Um, Julia's doing, I think, a TikTok or doing something in the closet. But our insulation guys are getting here. And so I'm excited for that. I'll show it being like sprayed in. I know some people had questions about why we're doing the spray foam insulation. So I'll show bits and pieces of that and show how we like, like where we're putting it. But it's just really good for like sealing in your home and regulating air temperature and stuff like that. Julia gets cold a lot and so it'll like hold in heat really well. It'll keep cold air out or vice versa. Like in the summer, it'll keep uh, cool air in. So it's just a, a really good thing to do to your house. If you're ever like redoing or remodeling your home, just, I don't know, consider going the spray foam insulation route. It's like super good quality, really good move. Cold in here. Are you working on a TikTok? Yeah, I was gonna try and film one more um, because my mom's coming this weekend mm -hmm. and I feel like we're gonna be busy. Oh, uh, this hat will go good with your outfit. Yeah. Put it on. Burnt. I don't you see her color. Valentine's Day gift? I didn't do color. I knew she wouldn't like this color, but I thought it was funny anyway, so. $30 gag gift. <laughs> anyway, um, you can work on TikToks. I, been working normally or whatever and they're working on our insulation right now and so it's cold in here because all like the windows and stuff are open 
I know. Out. I feel like that you, like, since they took out the old insulation, they're putting in the new. It's been colder. Yeah. Because, yeah, there's... No but it's like, it wasn't interesting because it was colder. It's just, like, cold throughout the entire house. It's not like one room is hot and one room is cold. Yeah. It's just, like, cold. No, totally. So, anyway. All right, last thing I'll say about the insulation before I show you some of it is the company that we're using is the Hayes Company. And they came highly recommended in this area. And, yeah. I'm excited for it to be finished. In my clancy no to send it to myself tomorrow. I recall giving away my joy and those that don't know why. Alright, we ordered a new coffee machine as well. We've been using the same coffee machine for like the past three or four years, and it's done well. It's actually discontinued, so y'all ask us for links a lot of time of the coffee machine or which one we use. They don't make it anymore, so we can't find it. But anyways, we wanted a new one. It was time to kind of like change up or upgrade just a little bit. And so we got a Breville. Um, a lot of our kitchen appliances that we buy are Breville, and we really like the, we really like the brand a lot. Everything we have from them is like really nice and has held up really well. So there she is. Pretty sleek. We'll put it on the coffee bar. We're actually torn because we have this coffee bar. Like, we had one at our last house, but this one's a little bit bigger and probably nicer. Yeah, nicer. It has like the ice machine and wine fridge and stuff like that. But we're trying to decide if we want to do a coffee bar or keep that as like the cocktail area. Although we have the cocktail area in the basement, you still need something close to the kitchen, so. I don't know, we're trying to decide. The fact that it's like an ice maker and a wine fridge almost feels more uh, cocktail, but I don't know, we'll see. That was a good Julie's idea, by the way. What news do you choose in the morning? After a full night of the blue light, don't get rest on our eyes these days, let them burn. Alright. Looks nice. This was our old one, which we loved. And it lasted a good four or five years, but it was time to just kind of upgrade. 